Hi, and welcome to part two of video two, conducting a literature review. My name is Jessica Alameda. I'm a public services librarian at the UMass Law Library. In today's video, I'll be conducting research in Hein Online, Legal Track, and Google Scholar. As we start this video, just a few reminders. Try to start early in the process. You know, research takes a long time. Um, and you want to make sure that you do as much research as you can so you have a well-rounded paper. As you're researching, you're going to come across some, key, some extra keywords, keywords that you might have not thought of. So add those to your keyword list and go back and re-research if needed. Remember to look at the footnotes for similar articles and additional sources. And as always, stay organized. Keep a list of sources, whatever strategy works best for you. But if you keep a list of sources and it's very organized, it makes for really easy footnote work at the end. I'm going to start my research today in one of our smaller databases called Legal Track. Right now, I'm on the library website. I'm going to go all the way to Quick Links and click on Legal Track. Legal Track has a simple search bar, so we could put in medical aid and dying. It has a word wheel that populates. General simple searches. Like I said, it's a small database, so only 21 um, articles came back. I also have it on full text documents. I could take it off that and we might get more. Yeah, it just increased to 30. Um, but you can filter your results over here. Don't worry if you can't find full text documents. We can always try to find them in Hein Online. You can send them to me directly or to lawlib at umassd.edu, and we can try to get them through interlibrary loan as well. One of the great things about Legal Track um, is if you go into this advanced search option, now here you could put in a whole host of keywords if your simple search wasn't working out for you. Um, and then use any of these like keyword or author to help narrow your search. Um, but what I wanted to show you today was Topic Finder. Um, this is an amazing feature uh, through Legal Track that I think you might like. So I'm going to put in medical aid, oops, in dying, and I'm going to hit the search button. And what it does is populates these tiles. You can actually put it on a wheel too, which is pretty cool. Um, but we'll go back to tiles. And it just gives you a visual way of looking at your topic and its relationship to other keywords and other topics. And so when I click into medical aid and dying, it gives me all 14 of the articles that are in legal track that specifically have to do with medical aid and dying. Okay, that's the, that's the subject. They also have subcategories, United States, Physicians, Core. I'm going to click Statute because that is one of my keywords. And then it limits it to three. Now, when I click in here, like I said, Legal Track does not have all full text documents. So they give you the citation, but they don't give you the actual article itself. So once again, we can take this information. We can go into Hein Online and try to find it which is a much bigger database, or you can email me or the library and we will try to get it through interlibrary loan. So now let's look at Hein Online. We're back on the library website. We're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom under quick links and click into Hein Online. Now similar to Legal Track, if you're at home, you may need to log in using your UMASD credentials. Once here, there's a few ways that you can go about searching. The first and easiest way is if you have a citation. Click on the citation tab and type in your citation. Hit the search key. And if it's available in Hein Online, it will load the entire article. Next, let's do a full text search. We'll click on the full text tab, and I'm going to add my keywords. 
Now notice I didn't use any terms and connectors this time. I'm gonna click on the search bar and it gave me over 17,000 results, which is a lot of results. You can refine your search using date. The collection that you should use if you're looking specifically for law review journals and law review articles is the Law Journal Library and the core US journals. If you are looking for international, there's also an international um, and non-US law journals as well. The last way I want to show you how to search in Hein Online is actually my favorite, and it's to use the advanced search option. I like to take my favorite keyword or key phrase and put it into section title and then search. I find that this is a very narrow search and gets me just a few results that I can easily go through. Now notice, this database is usually all full text, but sometimes there's an embargo on things. This um, article here is not available. However, if you send me the citation, I'd be more than happy to track it down for you. Why don't we go into this one? Legal history of medical aid and dying. You can download the entire article. There are print options as well. You can email a PDF link. There's a permanent link if you need it. Also, there's a citation button. So it makes it nice and easy to cut and paste the citation into your source list and then into your footnotes. I'm going to end today's video in Google Scholar. And you might be thinking, really? Google Scholar? And I have to say, it's always good to use library databases first. They've been vetted, and so you know that the information is good. However, Google Scholar can, is a different algorithm and can help you find articles that you might not find in Hein Online, even though they're connected to Hein Online. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. So I'm going to do medical aid and dying, but this time I'm going to do statutes at the end. And the reason why I did that is because Google Scholar is not a legal database, right? So they're going to do, give us medical aid and dying for all sorts of different disciplines. So I'm going to take a look at what we got. So, I mean, the results are out of control. That's a lot of results. But you can take a look and you'll see Hein Online. Now, you can't click on this and get directly into Hein Online. You need to take this information, go through the library website, get on Hein Online, and then put the title in to the search bar and that will get you it. That will get you the article you need. But what I wanted to show you in here, aid in dying, the availability of ideal medications for use in the right to die jurisdictions in the United States did not come up in my search because my search was very narrow and specific. I asked for medical aid in dying, so I missed this one. It's from the Quinnipiac Law Review in 2015. So if I wanted to see this, I could take this title, bring it into Hein Online, type it in, and find, and find the full text. The other thing I really like about Google Scholar is this Cited By button. If I click on this, I will get similar articles to the one I am reading because they are citing the article that I'm reading. So if you find articles that you were like, this is so on point, this article is great, I would bring it to Google Scholar, look it up and click on that cited by, because then you're gonna get articles that have come out after your article 
and have cited it that are going to be on the same exact topic. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions on Hein Online, Legal Track, or Google Scholar, please don't hesitate to reach out. I also do research consultations. For an appointment, just email me at jessica.almeida at umassd.edu.